guys lately oh my gosh i feel like i've been hemorrhaging money like it's not good i almost got assaulted in kroger the other day i mean big changes are coming that's all i can say i had a feeling you'd come back and save me it's friday night i just got back from getting a facial i'm staying in tonight but zach over here is going out on the town he is ditching me yeah i told her to stay home it's a boys night we don't need any grumpy woman hanging out around. <laughs> oh you're gonna get so much hate bring it on guys bring yeah, it on no. <laughs> no that's not the case whatsoever and i don't need any of the internet hate so it was a joke let's hope we have a sense of humor clancy actually requested that she can be alone. No, I didn't though. I didn't. She wanted to recharge her batteries. No, but I she, didn't. <laughs> oh, tell tell them why. Because I was telling Zach, I was. I had like a very busy day, and so I was telling Zach, like, oh, like, yeah. I don't. I wasn't like trying to. He thought I was trying to make a subtle hint that he should leave. Well, no. I. I mean, yes and no. But like Clancy had a long week, and she just with her sleep schedule. Friday nights are usually just where she relaxes and again recharges her battery, which makes complete sense but i just felt like she was really saying she just wanted to be like because sometimes like we hang out and watch stuff together but sometimes you watch youtube and i'll watch like the nfl draft tonight so i was like if she's gonna like isolate herself almost completely which i'm not saying is a good or bad thing if she just really wants to be alone so she can do her own youtubing and whatever else that she just would <laughs> either just want me out of the house or just not care if i were here so i had a buddy who's Fiance's out of town, and his cousin comes to town pretty oh, often. Oh wow! From Indy, you so. guys are really taking advantage. So tonight. we're uh, we're partying. Yeah, it's funny because today when Zach and I were working, I was telling him like, "Wow, it's been such a long week, such a long day." And then he quickly like texted his friend like as I was going on and on about that like, "Hey, you doing anything tonight?" Because he thought I was saying like, "Oh, like I can't even hang out with anyone tonight," which I feel bad because Neil just called, and, I, and my brother. You guys know my brother, and like I just can't talk to a human right now and I know that sounds so stupid and awful and like what like what does that even mean but like it's just been such a busy day I had so much fun this morning like so much fun I was previewing the flying pig marathon here in Cincinnati which was one of my first live shots when I first got to Cincinnati today's actually my three-year anniversary at local 12 which is nuts so crazy and it was such a fun morning local Twelve's Clancy Burke is at the Duke Energy Center where the health and fitness expo kicks off at noon today good morning Clancy Good morning, John. There are two types of people on race day. Those who grab their water bottles and they get ready to run, but then there's the second group, those who kind of just wait it out a little bit and then they celebrate. And I can promise you, both types of people are accepted for Flying Pig Weekend. Hey, Bob, I am all geared up. I've got the attire, but I'm missing one thing. Look at this. I only have my socks. And of course, every runner needs their shoes. And I can tell you, if you come out to the Health and Fitness Expo, they've got a ton of shoes. But check this out. Asics actually designed a flying pig shoe. And I know this is going to be very difficult for you to see because they're so tiny and cute. But there are actually pigs on the shoelaces. And if that doesn't tell you just how big the flying pig marathon is, I don't know what does. Right now I'm here with Iris Simpson Bush, who's the CEO and president, and oh, by the way, she's run this marathon before a couple of times. So I want you to give me some tips for maybe some first timers, some people who are gonna be running for the first time ever this weekend. And then after that, I had to quickly get my B12 shot on my lunch break. It's just like a quick five minute shot. You guys know I'm very low on B12, so that helps. Then I had to jet home, eat breakfast, and then go to the station because John Lomax, who is our morning anchor, like one, we have three, Bob, Sheila, John, but he's been there the longest and uh, it's so sad. It was his last day. It was his last day. Like it's happy, of course. Like it's, you know, it, it's a happy thing. Like we're celebrating. I think he was there 39 years. Yeah, 39. It's just, it's always sad when someone like that is leaving. So we had like a huge like party at the station and that was great. And then I had to jet back to do an interview for my story for Monday. And it just was like one thing after the next, after the next. Today I got a facial. I woke up from my nap and got a facial, which I just like love my facials. It's so, it's just like so relaxing. And like, I just feel like it really, really gets my skin. Like, I don't know, like it just gets everything from it. The extractions she did on my nose though, like I was actually like, do I throw up of pain now or later? Like it was so painful, but whatever. I'm like, do what you gotta do. So that was great. And then tonight, this is the night guys. This is how I'll be spending my Friday evening. I feel really guilty about denying people's plans because there were other people who asked me to hang out tonight but like i just can't and tomorrow be ready 
it's going to be a really fun day. It's going to be a jam-packed day. I'm pretty sure if I do everything I'm planning on doing, which there's no guarantee it will be, but I really want to make an effort. We have so much on the books, but for now, it's just, this is, this is the game plan. All right, we're here. Are you going to be good tonight? Time will tell. What are you going to do if a girl goes up to you? We are doing it guys. I'm trying to get back into my morning workouts because at the end of the day, I'm just like such a morning workout person. Like I try to convince myself I'm not when I wake up on a Saturday morning and I don't feel like going to the gym right away. I'm like, no, I'm not like Saturday. Like, no, we're fine. We could do it in the afternoon, but like nothing will ever compare to like the feeling of accomplishment after a workout and you still have your whole day ahead of you. Like I love that and I wish I could do it Monday through Friday, but obviously with my schedule, that's like not gonna work. Like I'm not waking up at one o'clock in the morning to work out before work. I have to wake up before one o'clock in the morning. So that's not happening. But yeah, today's gonna be a bike day, which some of these bikes have been broken lately. So I need to figure out which one isn't. And then I'm going to read while I'm on the bike. I'm just reading a book called How to Murder Your Life. It is by a former beauty editor who I guess went down a cycle of like drugs, alcohol, I don't really know, I'm just starting it, so can't really give any reviews yet, but that's the current read. 10 miles, we did it, happy Saturday. I think it's safe to say I'm in desperate need of a shower. <laughs> Hi, I have just been running around like a chicken with her head chopped off because of course, even though I got to the gym early this morning and had all day ahead of me, I waited until very last minute to actually get ready. So finally, we're almost ready, I'm just doing Mm, do you guys see? My eyelashes look absolutely awful right now. Don't know what that's about. Like, they're all separated. Let me, let me go in a little. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I think that's a little bit better. I cannot stand when people like show their lashes. They're like, look how long and beautiful my lashes look. And it's like spiders. I'm like, no, you'd rather short, beautiful, like put together lashes than the spiders. And so, yeah, anyway, that's my rant of the day things are looking okay as for my outfit oh my gosh wait i didn't even tell you guys what i'm doing i didn't even tell you wow okay this is awful so here's the game plan jenna's about to pick zach and i up we are going to john lomax's going away party then we're gonna jet to downtown cincinnati where our friend morgan who's a reporter at fox 19 she's having her own birthday party downtown it's pink themed you're gonna see, I, I did not adhere to that. I'm a horrible human, I'm sorry. Then at eight, that's when we have our friend Alexa's birthday dinner, big birthday weekend. Alexa's a reporter at Local 12 with us. And then we're probably gonna go in back to downtown Cincinnati after that. So it is gonna be a very long day, very long night. Just a lot of boom, boom, boom. As for my outfit, I just, I did not, I like, do, like pink is my favorite color. You can see, pink, like I love it. I love how I show you just like one pink thing, but I promise there's like pink all around. It doesn't look good on me. It just doesn't. I don't like wearing warm colors. I like wearing cool tones. So yeah, this is the fit. Getting a little, a little look. This is like my typical outfit. It's like a very strange temperature outside. It's like 72, 73 with a chance of rain. So picking out an outfit wasn't the easiest. We did it though. Let's see if Zach is done getting ready. Cause we all know he's the diva in this relationship. Where is he? He's not here, so that's... Oh, he's... Oh, that is you only fun. wear pink. <laughs> you're wearing... Oh, my God, you're doing the yeah, color. you only wear pink. Oh, that's so cute. What the heck? Oh, my God. I might be a part of the birthday. What the... <laughs> okay, now I feel weird. It's me, <laughs> I feel weird that Zach's wearing it. Just trying to support the cause of someone I don't even know. <laughs> oh, yeah, Zach's never even met Morgan. You guys will love each other. I'm eating just a super quick lunch. This is that zucchini pasta I told you guys about a few videos ago. I think it's made of, like, I don't know, I guess zucchini noodles. I have no idea with marinara sauce on it. It's, okay, it's pretty good, but it's actually been hitting my gag reflex. I have no idea why. It's a weird thing I've been going through. Someone wants seconds. Birds, maybe. Activity number one. Checked off the list. One is done. Crew. Two Jenna. is on its way. Two is on its way. <laughs> Zach back here wearing more pink than I am. And this is the pink party. So we'll see how many people actually end up wearing. My pink shirt pink. from Abercrombie 2000 and I want to say like 18. Oh, wow, oh. guys. We are passing the courthouse is down. Or no, this is the Justice Center back here. It's so funny as a reporter, just like the places you spend so much time oh on like gosh, the shuttle Justice the jail. Center. Every time we do live shots there, they bang. And there's oh a guy named God. Sticks. I know his name is Sticks because, oh wait, show him, it's coming out right here. They put their little names on the little windows with tape. I don't know if you can see it, but they do it. And there's a man named Sticks 
He's not, he's very high up, and he always banks when we're live there. I, I the first, actually, like, people it's really a thing. It's There's a thing. People I got in jail you. there, and they get very excited to see TV news reporters yep. reporting outside. Because what? I mean, we're the, probably their entertainment of the day. 100%. I didn't know that was actually like people like. Shout school. out to Sticks if he's watching YouTube. Yeah, no, Sticks, I. Stay <laughs> strong in there. I thought. <laughs> We're gonna get you out, Sticks. No, we're not. We're gonna do it. We, no, it's not. I really, us. I really wonder what he did, though. Yeah, I mean, we're we can look it up. But and he's gonna be like, we, we just, I don't know his. Have you name. been in the jail, the no, justice center? Have you? Yes. For it made story. me go on a tour, and it was the scariest thing because it just was Sticks. scary. I didn't I, see sick. I get I, in my last TV news market, which was Columbia, South Carolina. I went to like a woman's jail facility, and I shook hands with a woman with a tattoo behind her ear, and she murdered her her dad. Yep. What? And I was talking to this woman. I'm like, hello. Okay, wait, I, I love the tattoo detail. What is that? I thought, I thought it was going to be relevant. Like, like the tattoo Oh, was because like, I had to, when you film inmates, daddy. you can't show their face. Or at least that's how it was in South Carolina. So I was filming her ear. Oh, with her tattoo. okay. So that's where that stuck out. I'm like, where is she going with this ear thing? But yeah, guys, this is downtown Cincinnati. Take it all in, drink it in. And we are off to <laughs> the top of two, the AC for the top hotel. It's a rainy Sunday morning and tell me the vibes are not immaculate in here. Like I kind of actually love a rainy weekend morning and I'm not even gonna lie guys, I'm so hungover right now. <laughs> not so hungover, but let's just say I skipped my morning run and it just was not on the cards for me. I'm gonna be running this afternoon, but it works out so much better because it's actually supposed to get like sunny and perfect running temperature, like 72 degrees, like oh my I love that but yeah last night and yesterday so much fun like oh my gosh and it's funny because I feel like normally Zach and I go to things for his friends but like yesterday I was just like coming in hot like one two three and I told Zach he didn't have to go to all of it like I never want to be like you must go to whatever I, I like not to say I don't care but it's just like you know if you don't want to go you don't want to go but he was a trooper he went to all three events and it was fun yeah every every single event was for a TV person it was fun seeing like different TV news friend groups but yeah last night I, by the end i had to leave because i lost my voice like i just lost it from talking all day which is funny and weird like it's not like i was even yelling that much i guess at the last bar i was kind of loud but yeah so that was great now i'm just chilling here about to probably yes oh my gosh yes there are so many good youtube videos that i have to watch so ooh, i don't mean have to watch like i have to watch them i mean like that they're there for me to watch so i'm excited Heck yeah. As you guys know from my live shots on Friday, the Flying Pig Marathon was this weekend, and I decided to go in our system and watch Kristen's hits and see exactly who won, what happened, and oh my gosh, looking at the footage is disgusting, specifically when the winners cross the finish line. Let me see if I can actually get to it right here. Okay, that's the male winner. And then this is the female winner. She doesn't even look that tired. That's nuts. I mean, gosh, they are just so in shape. So with that being said, we got the shoelaces tied up, got the outfit on, and I'm going to go jog just a couple of miles. And Zach is just flopped. Oh my gosh, guys. I swear, I run two miles on the treadmill without even breaking a sweat. I run two miles on these hills in Cincinnati and I'm dying. I'm dying. Man, this is embarrassing, but the hills really do it. Good morning, guys. I decided to continue this vlog into Monday because you guys all wanted a chance to see my beautiful face at two o'clock in the morning. I feel dead right now. I look dead right now, but now I'm fine. Honestly, Mondays are not that hard for me because I feel like my body 
like there's enough time to be tired if that makes sense like you got all the sleep it needed over the weekend and then today it's like oh wait like we didn't get a lot of sleep last night but you know we're fine i don't know why i'm saying we i have one body okay i woke up to this lovely bug bite on my face which is always so concerning like just picturing the bug on my cheek and I didn't even know. And also, why did he pick the cheek? Pick a leg or an arm, please. Just starting out with my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, guys. This is my tried and true. You'd be proud of me. Mm, they're not looking the best, but in, in my book, my nails are looking great. Like, I painted them. This is wicked. <laughs> Zach was like, you painted your nails black? <laughs> I'm like, Zach, this is a popular color, okay? And I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna pop the name of the polish i've been using before and after i paint them on the screen because it truly has been working by sally hans sally sally hansen like it's actually been making them last kind of long which i'm excited about i actually had planned to get my nails done like in like i like a little nail schedule and i plan to get them done this weekend but then i nixed to that because i you guys know i popped my tire and i had to get new tires a few weeks ago and like whenever i have to spend an upsetting amount of money, I always try to like balance it out somewhere. So for example, like I'm trying to, it, it, the tires cost over $400. Nails only cost, I was gonna do a mani-pedi, 100 maybe, but it helps. So I nixed that and that'll help save money on that whole debacle. But guys, lately, oh my gosh, I feel like I've been hemorrhaging money. Like it's not good. Like you guys know, oh, I, like, I can give you an update. The IRS situation where I lost so much money because, <sighs> Both me and my accountant, my accountant and I, decided to pay my taxes. She didn't, she like just didn't, you know, let me know. And so we both paid them. And I lost a lot of money. I called the IRS, I finally got through to them. And oh my gosh, it, the, okay, I have to say the woman started out so mean to me. Not mean, but just like not nice. But I held my ground with being very nice and friendly. And by the end of the conversation, she was actually really nice. And I was like, wow, you just have to be nice to people. But yeah, she, I mean, was like, there's nothing we can do, but wait it out because we issue refunds after payments are processed in months. So it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be months. Like all this money is, I'm not getting it back for. A long time if I do so that's a lot of fun and not great so I lost that money then I have paid actually guys this is a big hint I've spent just a lot of money less than 10,000 more than 5,000 we'll say on a very exciting project Surpri not project that's the wrong word surprise that's going to be happening uh, that's all I'm gonna say for now but I had to put a lot of money up front and that announcement is actually going to be coming either at the very end of May or the beginning, the very beginning of June. You'll have to wait and see. I still have to even film that video, but it's kind of crazy. So I'm really excited though. I mean, big changes are coming, that's all I could say. But they're expensive changes, very expensive. If anyone has any guesses, I feel like there's no way you're gonna guess this, but try guessing. I'd be so curious to see what you could possibly come up with. I say no one would get it, but I feel like you guys are like, just, I don't even know. The things that people know, I'm like, how do you know that? So guess below, I'm curious if anyone has any idea. But yeah, I just feel like I'm in like a spending phase of life, which I don't like. I don't ever like to be in a spending phase of life. I'm just like random things, wedding stuff. Oh my gosh, I'll talk about it more next vlog, but like I've been trying to make these like wedding decisions and it's like, <laughs> It's expensive. I don't budget. People ask me like, oh, like, can you give me like your budget? Or like, I don't budget. It's just simple. Like I just don't spend unnecessary money. I don't really go shopping a lot unless you got the grocery store. Like I don't, I'm not a big shopper. And I just am like, oh, let me not buy stupid things. Like that's seriously my way of budgeting. So I just need to like think of ways to save money. For example, nails, nix that for this, like the next couple of months. Little things like that. I just got to my story of the morning just outside a local animal shelter because they are hosting a huge promotion for people adopting pets. It's just been really rough where there are a lot of dogs and cats coming in but not enough people adopting them. But I wanna show you real quick, I'm gonna be trying out a new lip shade today that I've heard. Actually, I haven't heard that many people use it. Like, I bought this months ago but I have not heard, okay. Let's, let's get to it. You guys know every day, or not every day, but a lot of days I use Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, like this is like the shade that everyone talks about. A lot of people actually wear this on their wedding day. You can see mine is uh, not looking too great, but yeah, Pillow Talk. And right now I just have on, um, I always do a liquid lipstick when I'm working just because it makes it last so much longer. So I do first liquid lipstick. This is the Stila Style Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. Love this stuff so freaking much. And then today, 
today, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but this is in like the medium version. They created like a medium darker version, I guess. I think some people were not complaining, but just saying like Pillow Talk doesn't work for me, it's so light, which I agree, it is very light. Wow, okay, this is a lot darker. Actually, you know what? Let's be a proper uh, beauty guru right now. This is, oh gosh, guys, I'm sorry. This is the difference with my camera light. It's blowing it out, so it's really hard to tell, but this is a lot, oh hey, no. Go back. Okay, this is a lot darker. It really is in real life. And let's see what it actually looks like. Oh, wow. I might actually like this better than the original Pillow Talk. It just like pops a lot more. Like the original Pillow Talk, I agree. It can be very light, especially for on air. If I wear light lips, oh my gosh, I've learned this. I learned it after freaking like five years of reporting. Finally, like, oh wait, the light lips, not the look on air. I like it in real life, but this is awesome. And then I always like to just do a little gloss on top just because... I'm not too into like the matte lip. I just feel like the gloss adds dimension, especially I don't have big lips, which I don't mind. I've never minded not having big lips, but I can make them a little bigger just with lip gloss. And that's nice. Boom. All right, cool. Ready to go on air in, I don't know, like seven minutes or something. <laughs> Okay, Bob, right now there are more than 600 animals sitting inside this shelter just waiting to find homes. When I heard that number, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it was so high, but unfortunately this is something they've been dealing with for about eight months. Tomorrow is primary election day here in Ohio, so I'm just working on some election stuff. Ready guys, I'm so proud of this. I created these cute little full screens. If it will load, I did that. I'm just, I'm so proud. I don't know. I know no one would probably call a full screen cute except me, but yeah. And I really like, oh, I've just been like scouring this. Like, as I showed you guys, like it's so easy to create a typo. And the last thing you want, especially for an election is a typo because it just like, you don't want to make any candidate look bad. Like you're biased or something like, so I've just really been like, oh, and some of these names I'm like, does that have two ends? But it, I know Jim or Nacy, it doesn't. But oh my gosh, okay, looks good. Meanwhile, Zach just got off his Monday morning meeting and it took me a while to realize what you were doing in your Monday morning meeting because I'd hear you saying the most random things. But his work is so, like, I don't even, like they actually care about their employees. Tell them what you do every Monday morning. A lot of us work in different locations or remote. So they do like a little mini like icebreaker or like, Today was like, if you could live anywhere, where would you want to live and like why? And just like, wait, you chose Denver out of everywhere? Like, that. I just picked out a place that I could have been. Zach, we haven't discussed this. <laughs> You've known this, and that's why I know I'm not going to be happy with the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking me to like muggy Florida. And I just want to be in the mountains. I just want everyone to know that after spending an hour and a half working on my story for tomorrow, creating the full screens, the graphics, all of it, I was assigned another story. I mean, like I was already assigned this story, but then my managers changed, or my one manager changed her mind and just assigned me a whole other thing. So yeah, all that work for absolutely nothing. That, I hate that. That's the hardest part about, especially mornings, or really, honestly, any shift in the TV news industry, things can get switched up so easily. Nightsiders, you could be working on your whole story all night, breaking news happens, boom, it's all gone. Time to go to Plan B. Okay, it's a lot later. I am done with my nap, done with my workout, and do you guys wanna hear how chill of a human being I am, Zach? I wanna tell you this too, because I seriously just forgot about this until this very minute. You listening? I don't have a choice. I was on a run tonight, and honestly, I got really bad shin splints. I, I They just like hit so badly, so after I was running, I was limping a little as I was walking, I was walking very slow, and I was on the phone with Neil, as I was walking at one of the crosswalks, like I had the right of way, I was walking very slow, but I was in pain. A guy rolled down his window and yelled at me to walk faster. And I didn't react. I didn't even process that it happened. I was just on the phone with Neil. I just kind of just like smiled at him. It, it, I just remembered it in this moment. Like I didn't even react. My brain like didn't even process. I'm like, oh, he wants me to walk faster. Like, and I didn't walk fast. Like I just like didn't care, but like, oh my gosh. Like it just hit me like, wow, that really happened tonight. And also I almost got assaulted in Kroger the other day from a lady who said, like I was invading her space. She didn't say that. Remember the woman when I was trying to get my oatmeal and she was like, excuse me. And I didn't know, I thought she was talking to someone else. I was just grabbing oatmeal. And apparently like I walked a little too close to her. I don't know. I don't know. Like when I'm in the grocery store, I don't have time to wait for people to like, like you just kind of like reach. People do that to me too. I don't care. So yeah, I was like, wow, I'm actually about to get hit. She was like tall. Like it was, it was a, a scary moment. And also, while we're on this topic, my mom had uh, quite the incident over the weekend. She went to go pull into a parking spot at the beach, which going to the beach, like we live like 15, 20 minutes from the beach on Long Island, New York. 
it can be hard to get parking spots. So she went to pull in and then there was a man just standing there. And apparently he was saving the spot for people at the Allegria Hotel. And she was like, you can't do that. And then he told her to hit him. Obviously she didn't because, you know, she would have gotten in trouble. So she called the cops and then they removed him from the parking spot. But yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of crazy moments happening in life. You just gotta, you know, Roll with those punches. I feel like I have to sneeze. My allergies are so bad. I'm just preheating the air fryer right now. I have asparagus and my potato in the oven. You know the drill. And then, Zach, what's on the uh, the TV menu for tonight? We've got some possibilities. Well, lucky for you, this NBA game's probably not going to be a very good one. So we could watch. We don't have that many options. Ozark? Yeah. Southern Charm? No. American Idol. If like, we're doing other things, Idol's good. Like if I'm occupied on my phone yes. and you're over there. If we like sit down and watch something, we're just going to watch Ozark, I'm sure. Which I liked the beginning of it last night. I didn't like it. it it's, it's losing me. Every show loses me. They all lose me. <laughs> yeah, they lose you. I get into like this awful, awful, awful rut of like, just okay, I watched, like for example, I watched The Dropout. I tried to watch an episode yesterday. And I was like, okay, like that first episode was good, but like, do I want to watch another? No, like it just, shows lose me, I don't know. Ew, that's so ugly, oh my gosh. I've just been listening to the podcast Couple Things by Sean Johnson and Andrew East as I cook. Voila, we've got the dinner looking good, but I'm pausing this because do you guys see what I see. American Idol's on, oh my gosh, of course it goes to commercial the second I start vlogging, but I'm actually gonna end the vlog here awkwardly not turning the camera for no reason other than I don't know this just feels right goodbye guys I'll see you next time all the way from Long Island now happy in Ohio she has the most amazing chocolate oatmeal recipe I know hey that's Clancy Burke yeah you heard it here you heard it here first up and out of my Two in the morning for the Cincinnati News reporting. Behind the scenes from work, here's Clancy Burke.